NBC 25's Nikki Zizaza is in the studio with more on tonight's top story. Nikki, what can you tell us about how tonight's event is honoring the civil rights giants? Stephanie, some elected officials and supporters I spoke with tonight say it's overdue. They want Interstate 75 named after the Tuskegee Airmen, while some flyers are still alive. And that isn't all. They also want the memorial to extend into other states. At the inaugural reception tonight, some supporters told me what it would mean if the bill is passed. To mark this as the highway project to rename I-75, the new Tuskegee Airmen Memorial Highway, is just historic. With the Michigan House giving the green light, this is the closest supporters of the Tuskegee Airmen Project have ever come to naming Interstate I-75 after the flyers who made history more than 60 years ago. The Senate has not taken up the bill yet, but William Burnett is hopeful. I feel that it's going to pass. And it's news retired Captain Earl Thompson has been waiting to hear because of its historic impact on his life. Oh, it's, it means a lot. Without these guys, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did. But David Rutledge, who introduced the bill, says a portion of the highway isn't enough. He believes the civil giants deserve more. By authoring a bill that would memorialize I-75 from our northern border to our southern border uh, as a Tuskegee Airman Memorial Highway. At tonight's ceremony, elected officials at all levels extended support. Support, Rutledge says, is necessary. It, 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 it would be significant, and most of all, I think, to our, to our young people coming. State Representative David Rutledge tells me he expects the st state Senate to approve the bill after the summer recess. Michigan is the third state along Interstate 75 to officially request naming the roadway after the Tuskegee Airmen. In the studio, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News.